welcome this is the energy vibration reading for all sun moon and rising aries i want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is the month of july and the month of july is going to be one of um, um a vital change in in each and every person's life so this is going to be um a changing of the cards let's say it like that but on the other side um we are going to see a wonderful possibilities wonderful situation coming out in each and every one of us lives so you know we are going to realize how wonderful um this month of uh, july is going to be and how the changes are going to happen so i want to say to each and every person thank you for connecting thank you for returning um welcome all new subscribers thank you thank you thank you um and um please like share these videos another thing listen to your sun moon and rising sign please subscribe to this channel that's how you can help us support us uh, in um subscribing and uh, sharing these videos please leave a message um, because every message that someone leave you heal someone else and as we can use this change of leaving message so we can heal other people this is going to heal the whole world okay so you know thank you for everything that you have been doing and being with me and um, because at least a middle um the middle of 400 uh, viewers view my videos every week which is uh, i'm so grateful i'm so thankful and i know this will grow so i want to say thank you to each and every person okay um the month of july is going to be the month of the star the star energy is the color of blue whenever the energy of the star comes up it's a wonderful wonderful positive energy and with these wonderful positive energy you would see situation that are coming in and you will understand how very important this sort of a situation is so as we look at the month of july for you aries it is going to be uh, a month of re um, some challenges for the men the men are going to be having challenges okay so for the people who have been um, vibrating on the lower energy vibration and has been using your ego, there is going to be a huge challenges coming up ahead for you guys. For the rest of the people who have been just being positive and trying to get through life in a in the positive way, um, there's a lot of healing that is going to come in in the month of July. The zodiac energy, um, you begin the month with a water and um, there is going to be a harsh judgment for people who have done something injustice and you end the month in your own um, energy vibration of fire. But end of the month, you need to work on um, two chakras, um, which is not always coming up. So obviously, there is this message that your guides and angels are uh, channeling to me is that you need to work on two very important chakras as you will see as we go forward okay um as i look at your month i need to put on my glasses even though you guys don't like um when i do my glasses but it's very important for um the numbers um one two that's 19 that's one um new beginnings are going to happen mm, okay four one six five it's, 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 it's really weird this is two so the number two energies are here one and two is here um three one two and three oh my gosh that is super super cool one two and three energies are here one two and three those are your numbers um, for this month. Okay, as I've said in the um, um, this month of July has four weeks, and the two last weeks is the energy vibration of your own energy vibration coming up as the fire energy vibration. But what is happening here is that there is a chakra, a blockage of these chakra. So you need to work on your chakras, these two chakras, in the last week. 
as we look at the first week we have a major arcana as the Sun the energy of the Sun coming over and it is helping you um, expanding your financial situation and you are going to have help people are going to come in and help you if you're having a business and you're expanding your business it's going to be a success for the people who are um, positively working on a positive energy vibes uh, in the second week there is going to be a justice not um, only for the women or um, what I should say not only for the women but for people who has been working on a positive positive uh, positive zero positive um, endeavor just um, for, for the people who has been positive and being honest with themselves and working in that energy vibration a high frequency energy vibration this is going to happen for you I'm seeing that some men who have done something injustice the sword is going to come down on you there is going to be the sword is going to come down on you and um, the um, the sword is really going to come down on you and um, it's going to be uh, justice is going to prevail over you because you have done something wrong and they are going to see that and they're going to bring down the sword on you so be aware this is the message I'm seeing you are in reverse the men are in reverse if you are a woman you have done something unjust the justice the sword is going to come down but it's the energy of the man and sometimes I have and this is what my the angels and guards are saying it's the man and whatever it is is a legal situation you have done something and they realize what you have done and now everything is coming uh, out and the sword is coming down on you in the third week uh, you have um, in the third week you have the energy of the chakras and the energies of the chakras in the fourth week also so it's a month of cleansing for you Aries whatever is happening there is cleansing 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 that is coming out in this week okay we're going forward and we're beginning with the first week and the first week you have light light and this is um, this is extremely good that this energy of light because what is happening here is that the energy of light is your into as I've said this month is going to begin where a lot of people are going to see and start seeing the unseen world the world behind the veil where your um, and angelical angels and guides and uh, international um, uh, intergalactic and beams and your cosmic families are going to be showing up and helping you out in certain aspects and certain things in your life the Sun the light is the Sun and the light is the Sun which is bringing positive endeavor and positive things in your life so for the people who have been vibrating on a higher energy vibration and understanding that whatsoever you give out you will um, um, receive in return you're going to see a positive energy success and it's not really success but it's a positive energy of people um, coming forward there's going to be an expansion and whatever this expansion is going to be it's going to affect your life and it's going to expect um, exp <laughs> Um, expands in your life and it's going to touch it in a wonderful way so you know be honest to yourself and let the expansion go because the Sun energy is here and um, the first week the Sun is going to come out for you guys which is just so wonderful it's going to bring a lot of expansion in your life as we look at you on the energy that is coming in we have the two of Pentacles and that expansion is going to have to do with your financial endeavors so whatsoever is happening um, this two of Pentacles is going to bring out wonderful positive energies uh, and this is going to bring out a positive energies of your financial situation and the financial endeavors that you have been going through so this is going to be wonderful and it's going to be extremely positive uh, this is going to bring popularity to a lot of people um, if you're having your own business and that sort of a thing it's going to bring out uh, um, popularity to other people okay as we move forward in the second week it's going to be a hair week for you guys it's going to be a hair week whatever is happening it's going to be a hair week so it's a week of justice is like the week of triumphant for some people a week of uh, the sword is working in the two 
um, the two sides and whenever the swords is working in the two sides that means the women will be justified in certain things and the men won't be because the energy of the vibration of the man is in the reverse there is going to be coming a renewal whatsoever had happened there is going to be a renewal for the women and some men there's going to be a very good renewal for the women the women most of all are going to have the renewal some women and um some men but the women are going to have a, a renewal they're going to be victorious over something and a renewal in their life which is a very very positive the red energy is always balancing your base chakra here we are the king of wands in reverse as I've said so the men are going to get the uh, the negative side of the sword and the women not all the men not all the men and not all the women are going to have the good side but the swords is cutting two sides in the second week so um, you know who you are and you know which side you're on so be aware of what you have been doing because in July and trust me July is a month where all secrets are going to be revealed and whatever you were doing and however you were using um, the energy of the swords it's going to cut you and it's going to cut you and there is an organization that is going to do it to you so whoever you are and whatever you did be aware of the situation because it's going to affect you we are moving on to the third week and the third week we have the energy vibration of uh, I know we had the solar chakra and the sacred chakra and this is the solar plex chakra the solar plex chakra is right below your navel the solar plex chakra so in the third week you have to work on your solar plex chakra whatsoever is happening for you um, um, Raman so you have to work on your solar plex chakra this is uh, um, an important message um, for you um, Aries out there that in the third week you have to work on your solar plex chakra for um, look up where is your solar plex chakra and you can ask Archangel Metatron to touch open and activate um, your solar plex chakra just said I now invoke Archangel Metatron to touch open and activate my solar plex chakra and now invoke Archangel Metatron to touch open and activate my solar plex chakra okay it is a very important as we look we have the bittersweet the bittersweet the bittersweet um, the bittersweet as came, came came up for another sign also the bittersweet and this is a bittersweet situation because um, some people have lost their um, personal power and in this uh, situation that you have lost your personal power it is the bittersweet but we should always remember whatever we give out to other people this is what we get in return and this bittersweet is just teaching you a lesson that you need to be positive and you need to be honest and positive to other people and to treat other people with respect okay the next card we have is the three of pentacles the three of pentacles the energy of the three of pentacles is here you working with other people trying to um, get things going and uh, trying to have as a, um, a wonderful support in your life and working together with other people is going to bring in a strength and whatever you're trying to work on um, people are going to be here to support you so whatever the bittersweet is uh, you need to find the inner power to go the Right to go further okay it's going to be bittersweet remember whatever we do to other people it's going to happen it's coming back at you rapidly um, in these days the sacred chakra the sacred chakra is governed door Archangel Gabriel so you can call upon Archangel Gabriel and said I now invoke Archangel Gabriel to touch open and activate my sacred chakra and as you call upon Archangel Gabriel um, to come open up um, your sacred chakra you're going to realize oh beautiful and how wonderful it is because you're healing your sacred chakra and your sacred chakra has a special sound and I'm going to look for this because it's important that the sacred chakra um, there is a special sound for your sacred chakra that you can use because 
whenever two chakras come up in a reading obviously your spirit guides are saying that um, the energy of these chakras need to be balanced okay so the sacred chakra which was the, in the last week it is the color orange and the sound is a vum 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 v a m and the element is water so it's a water week and um, it is the testicle and the ovaries okay so obviously there is a situation that is going on here in the fourth week that has to do with the testicles and the ovary so I'm going to leave the information the keys um, and it, the color is orange the sound is a vroom, 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 vroom. the element is a water week so in the last week uh, it is a water week for you the key is I want I want I want so whatsoever is happening to you in uh, the um, in the fourth week is that know that the sacred chakra the second chakra is located two fingers between your navel and uh, um, result to emotional and desires creativity and sexuality to keep the chakra in balance it is uh, the energy flowing through dancing moving your hips and lower abdomen use a color meditation and practice yoga express your sexuality and nurture yourself and remember you do matter so this is wonderful for you guys in the fourth week as we move on we see fey kadi Fakadi, 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 and uh, Fakadi is, um, you know, the, 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 the connecting with someone else and feeling as if you are with the life force of everything and feeling so positive, feeling the effect of positivity coming up in your life and understanding that the universal angels and your guides and your cosmic families are here to help you. As we move on the fourth week you'll be moving away from something it is the end of something and you will be moving away from something whatever it is that you're moving away from it is a time um, that you remove yourself or you end whatever you have done for the people who are positive and working on higher energy vibration you will be going on a better journey I see um, traveling I see moving and um, whatever it is uh, there is a situation of deception of people trying to um, profit from you whatever it is uh, um, there is a lot of deception that is going on in this week it's a water week uh, and um, you some people have uh, are going to overcome this a lot of people are going to overcome this but it needs you to change the way you have done things before okay you need to move on because you have done something some of you have done something that has affect other people and you have created a lot of karma and got to people in a lot of problems and you should understand where you are and understand where and how this is playing out for you and this you are going to see that universal angels so are going to help you despite um, how and uh, what uh, how you have dealt with certain situation in your life you're always helpful and the cosmic families and intergalactic and beams are coming in with the spirit guides and angels and guides for the people who work the unicorns are also here and you can always uh, if you work with a fifth dimension um, beams you can always call upon the fairies and the unicorns uh, and the dolphin uh, um, to connect with you and uh, the Maya maids to connect with you and the angelical beam of the ninth dimensional because they're all here now they're all coming in they're just awaiting for you um, to ask them call upon your animal spirit guides also each and every person has an animal spirit guide call upon your animal spirit guides and ask them for divine intervention in whatever situation that is going on around you because they are going to bring it um, and help you okay whatever is happening there is going to be a situation if you have been working on a good positive note in your life you're going to have popularity and uh, our organization are going to try to help you but um, if you were working on the negative side you're going to get uh, 
the other side of the sword because the ace of sword is victory and success but the sword carries two side so whatever side you were working with that is going to affect you in this month of july as i look at this month of july um you need to understand and for some people there's a lot of people who people are trying um, to make um, disadvantage of them so um, and sometimes it's not really so sometimes people just need a little help and you're going to see if someone asks you in this month um, for help if someone asks you to give them time um, know that this person honestly means it okay whatever whatever that was happening um, with the men in this month um, whatever you have done is coming back at you it's coming back at you it's going to cost you and uh, you need to leave the situation whatever that has happened in this month is coming back at you and you need to leave the situation and to ask for forgiveness for what you have done okay ask for forgiveness for what you have done okay we're moving on to see what is here um, for love there is going to be expansion in some people life new awareness wonderful experience and for and um, a bit of sweet for some people so expansion and newness and awareness for the people who are vibrating on the high energy vibration and for the people who are vi vibrating on the low energy vibration um, you are going to have the energy of a seal and the bittersweet okay remember whatever you give out to people that is what is happening and that is what is coming back okay as we look forward let's see what is the love energies for the um what is the love energies love energies for you aries um for you aries the first um two weeks it's all about the materialistic aspects um for you guys it's all about balancing your materialistic acts your, your emotional the materialistic world it's all about uh, the love of money in the two first week in the third week it is a week where you're going to rest to think about am i on the the right part because in the third week you have the energy vibration of the um, solar plex chakra so obviously there's an imbalance uh, um, with you Aries out there this is as an imbalance because um, love is your love in the two first week is a focus on the materialistic aspect money and in the third week you needed to rest because obviously the energy vibration of the solar plex chakra is here so you need to bring back and, and find your energy and bring back your energies uh, and bring your energies in balance the last week there is love there's a, a lot of people who are leaving and moving away from certain situation a certain aspect in your life and you're going to find true love in what in um, different endeavors true love is going to come well it's a love from um, especially for the women love you are going to find new love in the last week um, is it a love of an endless love it can be but it's not a soulmate or a twin flame love it is just love two people connecting with each other okay as we move forward we are going to look at the zodiac energies the zodiac energies and this is the energies of the sun the zodiac energies and this is for the sun um, Aries people and here we are here we go uh, for the sun Aries people we have the energy that you will be working with Aries no Leo you will be working with the Leos which is wonderful because the Leo is another fire sign and the Leos are very good to do business with so this is wonderful and you are a fire sign and the Leos are a fire sign so they are coming in to elevate you to a higher energy vibration level into your life which is going to be so positive for you guys so this is a good 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 um, to work together with the Leos this is going to be profoundly wonderful okay as we look forward um, the um, the planetary aspect what you're going to be working with it is going to be a wonderful um, time as you work with the energy vibration of uh, um, Mars Mars oh my god Mars Mars is going to pull everything out that you no longer need okay Mars is a planet that is going to really pull everything out that you no longer need 
so be ready because a lot of changes huge changes are going to come in because Mars is here working with the Leos oh my gosh they're going to pull out everything that you no longer need so be aware of this you Sun signs working with Mars is always the planet and um, working with Mars is always the planet of uh, um, you know letting go removing that which you no longer no longer serves you and this is going to be extremely extremely um, explosive for you guys and you need to be aware of what is happening and you know it is your planet the planet of Mars it rules you Aries so for you some people whatever is happening you are going to be um, your planet aspect um, is going to affect you in this month as we go to the moon people the Luna the Luna people um, you'll be working with the cancers the Luna people will be working with the cancers and this is good because um, when you're working with the cancers it is helping you to balance out your emotional aspect of yourself okay so when the lunar energy is working with the cancers it's helping you to balance out you're going to work with the cancers and the scorpions okay um this is extremely important because um the moon you guys by working with the cancers um you're um awakening your psyche because uh, the cancers is governed and ruled by the moon and they're coming in to help you to awaken um, the the unseen world the the, the the unseen world behind the veil and the planet of Pluto is coming in and the planet of Pluto um, um, it's it, it rules the scorpion so this is extremely good and what is happening here is that there is going to be a great shift in your life there's going to be an extreme um, shift in your life you um, you Aquarians out there so whatever is happening to you Aquarians you're going to understand that this great shift is going to happen in whatever way it is you're going to realize how powerful the shift is this great shift is going to happen and um, by you doing this and seeing this and understanding what is happening you're going to be aware of uh, um, certain aspect of yourself and this is going to be good okay so you will now understand what is happening because Mars is you know going to push away the influence because uh, um, you have Pluto but for you um, moon people you're working with um, you're working with cancers and the cancers are here and Pluto is the wise soul knowing when to leave the old behind to make way for the new this may require time spent in um, the underworld going deeper in your own psychic to search for wisdom when Pluto appears in your Oracle reading it is a sign that something is um, finished and that an important changes is about to um, happen this is extremely extremely positive because what is happening here is that you are seeing and you are being aware that changes are coming up on you whatever whatever is happening there is changes coming up on you and uh, open you guys and this is all of you are going to feel this changes whatever whoever you are you are going to feel these changes and you need to understand what is really happening and what is really happening to you guys okay um your last and final card let's see what you have and this was harmony so we got harmony in reverse okay we got harmony in reverse so um, you guys need to find harmony in your life because we we got it in reverse so what's ha what's happening and your color is orange because I've been seeing this coming up you need to work on your solar plex chakra you can call upon Archangel Metatron 
um, harmony is in reverse for you guys so you need to work on the harmonica level of who you are okay try using this exercise in the month of July for you um, Aries and it assists you with the life transformation equilibrium and balance okay and the benefits is uh, a menopause uh, fertility and placid and balancing support harmonizing change and your focus is balance and harmony accompanied all my transition balance and harmony accompanied all my transition so here we are leaving you remember that the uh, your the harmonic um, harmony in your life is in the reverse form and remember that we need to understand that we need to bring harmony in our life to balance out our lives i want to say please subscribe to this channel um please like and share these videos and i'll speak to you next month have a nice one namaste Thank you.